Howdy folks, and welcome as we take a stroll down memory lane and celebrate the wisdom and the wit of a true Appalachian character. My papa, he was born on a crisp Halloween night in 1912, and his words were as colorful as the fall foliage, and his sayings, well they're as timeless as the hills themselves. So pull you up a stump, and let's share a spell them good old days. Now one of my papa's most prized possessions wasn't something that you might think of. It was his trusty old banjo, and whose strings told stories of long ago with every pluck and strum. Them old ballads from way back, that was his soul's delight. Far removed from the modern tunes that would make him declare, I would rather hear a mule fart than listen to such. Now, Papa had a way with words, especially when it come to common sense or the lack of it. He'd laugh a little and say, that boy was peeing behind a tree when common sense was handed out, whenever somebody did something that didn't quite add up. And you know, they used to claim life around here just moved at its own pace. But if something or someone took off in a hurry, Papa would say, well, that thing left here running like a scared rabbit, as quick as lightning and just as sudden. And you best not be up to no good or turn a mean street, because Papa would say with a knowing look, hell wouldn't have that feller, and his words could be sharp as a brawler, and they just as likely stick with you too. If you were dragging your feet, well, he had a saying for that too. You're slower than molasses in cold weather. Now that's slower than a January thaw, and that's a saying something. The hospitality, now that was one of Papa's real fine attributes. When you'd come around and supper was ready, he'd invite you with, you better get you something to eat. And if you protested, claiming you wasn't hungry, he'd say with a wink, well, I wasn't either, but I went ahead and got it over with. Now when Papa said, put your feet in under the board, that was just his warm-hearted way of telling you to join in on the meal, to be a part of the family circle, to share in the day's blessings. It didn't matter who you were or where you come from. There was always a place for you at Papa's table. And we can't forget about them stormy days. When the thunder rolled across the skies like a great drum, Papa would look up and he'd say, Look out, boys, that old tater wagons are rolling. And that was his way of letting us know that the heavens were putting on a show and we best pay heed. back on the welcome to nature my papa I can't help but feel the embrace of his hospitality it was almost as them old hills themselves and taught him the art of making anyone feel at home if a visitor lingered near the door hesitant to brave the journey back papa would say you might as well just stay all night so you can get you some rest his words were more than an offer they were a gesture care of protection, ensuring that nobody would face the dark, the old winding roads without proper rest. Now he also had to weigh with us the simplest interactions that sometimes turned into moments of connection. Whether he was helping to carry in groceries or welcoming guests into his home, he'd often ask with a smile, what brand is it? Now it wasn't just curiosity. That was his way of starting a conversation taking an interest. And his cozy living room, cluttered with memories and tokens of a life well lived, he'd gracefully gesture to the warm and more comfortable seats and say, if you can find you a seat, 
you welcome to it. These sayings, these moments, they're treasures pure and simple. They're the echoes of time when life was a mite simpler and wisdom was passed down in the words that painted a picture as clear as the mountain water. Remembering our older folks, like my papa, well that's just a blessing. They've left us with a legacy richer than gold, and I reckon some of that wisdom has rubbed off on me, and I'm mighty grateful for that. And I hope you find a nugget or two to carry with you. I truly appreciate you taking the time to stop by and watch. Until next time, have a good one, and keep those memories of your own kin and their wisdom alive in your heart. And here's an honorable mention, Bright Alec. If you was up bouncing around and acting a fool, and you fail, hurt yourself, or you maybe you knock something off the wall and broke it, picture, or what not, what have you, Papa would say, that's what Bright Alec's get. He'd call you Bright Alec, and he'd tell you, that's what you get for Bright Alecing.